Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Permission to Live in the End. And as usual, when I'm in my car, I like to apologize for any excessive um, shaking because I, you know, I'm not stationary, so I might move while I'm talking. Uh, so please forgive that. But I needed to uh, stop by and share a recent experience where Neville uh, kind of showed up to remind me of um, a scripture and a lesson that he taught about um, when Lot's wife uh, turned into a pillar of salt um, as they were, as the family was leaving Sodom and Gomorrah. And um, I'll just back up a little bit and say that, you know, along my journey of the different things I've been working with recently, the different uh, projects I've been working on, there have been, or recently there was a time where I thought that certain people were gonna be with me um, who had been with me in uh, previous projects. So it's kinda like just because they were with me and I got used to them being with me, I thought that they were gonna continue to be with me. Um, and this wasn't something I was consciously aware of. So as I began to move forward, I found myself looking back saying, are you coming? Are you coming? Like, are you coming along? Are you gonna be there too? You know, that type of thing. And when they weren't there, I started to feel some kind of way. I started to feel some kind of way about that. And it caused me to stop and really think about what was going on and attachments and what we can be attached to and what was I attached to that I was constantly looking back saying, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you going to be there? Are you coming? And what I started to realize, what Neville showed up to teach me, and it's really funny because I could see myself in my mind's eye just turning back saying, are you coming? Are you coming? And it was the same um, type of um, way that Lot's wife was being depicted um, when she turned around and looked back at the town after God said don't look back don't let look back or you'll turn into a pillar of salt well I love how Neville explains what the actuality of what this scripture was talking about uh, versus what we've tend to you know tended to be taught about this scripture and he 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 revisited me Neville revisited me to remind me of what this chain of events that was happening in my life um, represents and I I know that that's what's true um, so Neville shared a story one time where he was talking about the town of Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, Lot and his wife leaving that town actually represent um Sodom of Sodom and Gomorrah being a state of being, a a mindset and state of being that the family was leaving. So they were leaving the mindset and leaving that state of being. And as you're on your journey of leaving a particular mindset and state of being, if you are going to look back, you are actually preserving because Neville shared an experience or an example of how his family, you know, in whatever year it was, uh, they used uh, salt to preserve um, fish because they didn't have the same type of, um, you know, they didn't have the refrigeration uh, system that we have today. So they had to use salt and salt is a preservative. And, um, Lot's wife turning around to look back at 
Sodom and Gomorrah and what was happening with Sodom and, Gon Sodom and Gomorrah, with Sodom and Go Gomorrah representing a, a mindset and state of being, when she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt, it represented her staying or desiring to stay in the state of being that she was in, which is why she even looked back to begin with. And it was a lesson in as you're moving forward or as you allow a state of being, your new state of being to take its place, allow that to occur. And at, in, in that allowing, it will move out any desire of wanting to look back. And th when that lesson came, I said, wow, you know, it wasn't the attachment of um, the people that my lesson was about. It was in just being in the state of moving forward and allowing myself to stay in that state. And re it was the lesson came to remind me to stay in the state. So I just wanted to stop by and share that uh, with you guys because it was like, wow, oh my goodness. And how incredible is it that Neville would show up, you know, in a silent way, you know, in a reminder type of way that his lesson would come back. Something that I heard, I don't even know how long ago, that I would see myself in my mind's eye looking back, you know, asking, are you coming? Are you coming? And have, you know, Neville's lesson just show up to me and my rendition of what uh, Lot's my wife must have looked like as she turned around and she was preserved in as salt because she desired to look back as opposed to staying in the state of being of moving forward. So I just wanted to stop by and share my experience with you guys in case anyone else is having the experience. I know what's for one is for many. Um, so I just want to encourage you to keep moving forward and stay. Allow the state of being that you're in. Allow it to take over as it does. You'll know that you're living in the um, state of your desire already being fulfilled when you're able to stay there. So I just wanted to, because it pushes out everything else. It, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Um, as you're in the state, the state takes over. Um, so I just wanted to stop by and encourage someone today, remain in the state, and um, I'll see you on the next video.